What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are in a newly installed Windows 10 environment, and we're going to be installing IIS. That is Internet Information Services, which is used to host websites designed by Microsoft. Now, I have several other videos uh, for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 2003 server for installing IIS, also in Windows 10 as well. However, within the last, I'd say, four or five months, Microsoft has done a lot of updates to their IIS configuration for whenever it installs. So there is some steps, extra steps that need to be taken in order to get your websites hosted within IIS. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. We're going to right click on the start menu, come up here to programs and features. We're going to choose turn windows features on or off. Close out of this. We're going to come over here to Internet Information Services. Click on the drop down. Go down to World Wide Web Services. Click on Application Development. We're going to choose ASP, ASP.NET, ASP.NET 4.6, and Application Initialization. Now we're going to come over here, jump up, and we're going to go to Web Management Tools, and we're going to choose all three of these. Click there, click on OK, and let it install. And since this is a new installation of Windows 10, we're going to have to download some files. Okay, we have finished up this part, so let's go ahead and click on Close. And we're going to come over here, click, and go inside of our All Apps. Scroll all the way down to Windows, Administra <laughs> Windows Administrative Tools. And then Internet Information Services, go ahead and just drag and drop it right here. And then let's go ahead and click on it to get it launched. Okay, this right here is your IIS environment. This right here is your computer. So let's go ahead and click on the arrow and then come over here and click on Sites and go down to Default Website. We want to come over here to the Advanced Settings and then we want to come right here, click there, and I've got my folder. I just duplicated what I've got on my other computer. So I'm going to choose this folder right here and then click OK to make that one my root folder. Now, Okay, well using Google Chrome, we're going to locate to this folder right here, which is right inside of our cffdaemon.com site. So we're going to go to this main file, and whenever we click here, we get this error right here. An error occurred on the server when processing the URL. Please contact the system administrator. So, what we got to do here is we got to come over here to our ASP, and then we want to go down to Debugging Properties, and then choose right here, Send Arrow to Browser, double-click it, click on Apply over here, right-click, and reload the page, and then this right here would give us our error. So, what this means is that we got to make it so that we can add in the dot dot to indicate a parent path. So, that is right here. So, once again, you come inside of your ASP, Enable Parent Path, double-click it, click on Apply. Okay, right click, reload, and now we can load our page. Let's go inside of our footer right here, and we're going to get rid of this end if right there. Save, right click, and reload. Okay, I want to get rid of that, so we need to uh, find out what our IP address currently is. And so we want IP config slash all. And our IP address right now is going to be a 2.13 so this would get rid of this okay so there we go we get rid of our the add on there because we do not need it however we see something here let's right click we're going to go here to view page source and our problem is that whenever we click here it doesn't load our script uh, so our scripts not seen inside of here however the script is inside of the location so it's inside of scripts right here, and there's our script right there. However, it is not finding it. Okay, there's reasons why it's not being found. This is one of the changes that is in the new IIS. So we got to go back inside of our program features, come over here to turn Windows features on and off, 
come over here, click there, and then click here. And then we're going to go to common HTTP features, click on it, and we want static content. That is static content. Whenever we click here, view page source, this is static content that it cannot find. So we're going to click here for static content. We also want to click right here for HTTP errors as well. Click on OK. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. Now we should be able to click here, and there we go. We're able to load our scripts now this right here should be able to load all the css and everything else reload it and there we go it loads our css so that has to be changed in the new iis there's also one other thing as well so we're going to click here and then we're going to come over here to our application pool and then our our default website here we come over to basic settings and it's set at default app pool. We're going to change this, put on 2.0. Let's open this up and it's test settings. And you might get this error right here. Cannot verify access to path. What that means is that you do not have access to connect to this path right here. So how you get past that is come over here to our application pool. And we chose this one right here. So we're going to click there. We're going to come over here to advanced settings. And then we're going to come down to identity. We're going to click here, open it up. We're going to choose custom account. We're going to choose set. And then we're going to type in the username for this account. And right now it is the uh... okay, this right here. And now we're going to click on OK. And that is the logged in user that you want to use, which is the user that you logged in to your Windows 10 environment with. Click on OK, click on OK again. Now, when we come back over here, and then we come to our basic settings, and then we do test settings, we are authorized. So we can now access that location without having any errors. So there is a lot of changes in the new IIS that you really need to Go in here and take a look at everything to make sure that everything is the way that you want and need it to be in order to run the environment that you want to run. I am Wayne Barron. This is DarkEffects.net with our newly installed Windows 10 Professional. You have to have Windows 10 Professional in order to install Internet Information Services IIS. You have a good one now. Bye-bye.